This bulletin proudly brought to you in association with Alex Campbell's menswear. Tonight on The South Today, a dedicated follower of the world's best map makers has designed his own guide to Dunedin's bus routes. Two new artefacts have been donated to the Port Chalmers Maritime Museum. And a driving simulator has been unveiled in Queenstown to prepare visitors for New Zealand roads. Good evening, I'm Holly Buchanan. A dedicated follower of the world's best map makers has designed his own guide to Dunedin's bus routes. Sam van der Werden is an avid fan of transportation and he claims his map is better than the one the Otago Regional Council supplies to travellers. As work on Dunedin's bus hub continues, one local student believes he's made a better map of the city's bus routes than the Otago Regional Council's. Sam van der Weeden is a mathematics student at Otago University and says the council's map simply doesn't add up. Well, I mean, like, if you try to navigate off it, you'll fail. Yeah. Um, it's not, yeah, I mean, like, as, as an instrument for finding out where to go and what buses to take, it, I wouldn't say it's too flash. At A5 size, the Otago Regional Council's guide booklet is pretty easy to handle, but van der Weeden says it's unreliable and hard to follow. And while map making is just a hobby for him, his efforts have attracted the council's attention. Uh, well, I mean, like it's on my blog, yeah. publicly available, and I've I've had a couple of comments from them. So, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, what, what kind of comments from them? Oh, um, just things like it would be cool to have some sort of conversation about it or something. But frustrated bus goers shouldn't lose faith. Van der Weeden believes the next bus route map the ORC is working on will be a big improvement. The one that they're working on, the next one, is probably going to be a lot better than mine. Which is good news for the city's commuters, as they can look forward to an improved bus service in more ways than one. In Dunedin, the South Today. New figures show crime reports in Otago are at their lowest level in four years. Police data also reveals Southern District Police have returned the best resolution rate in the country this year. There were 730 reports of crime in Otago and Southland in June. That's down almost 30% since March. It's also the lowest level since police introduced a new method of recording crime statistics four years ago. The most common type of crime this year in the Southern District was theft, followed by burglary and break-ins. And two new artefacts have been donated to the Port Chalmers Maritime Museum. The new acquisitions include the bell from the cargo ship MV Port Chalmers and a replica of the first container ship to visit the port. Looking exactly like the first refrigerated container ship to berth at Port Chalmers, the Columbus America was a sister ship to Columbus New Zealand, which first visited Otago in 1971. The Port Chalmers Historical Society say the model is a valuable addition to the Maritime Museum. It was um, donated because we had no model at all um, pertaining to um, container ships, so and it now fills the gap for us and of course it's taking pride of place here in the Port Chalmers Maritime Museum. Another new acquisition is the engine room bell from the MV Port Chalmers, a cargo ship that regularly visited the harbour. The local school and ship struck up a long-lasting relationship. The Port Chalmers, MV Port Chalmers, used to come here to um, do its cargo line and it had adopted um, Port Chalmers School and every time the, the boat came to Port Chalmers um, the school were invited on board to meet it. Following the boat's decommission in the 1960s, this bell was donated to the school. Gary Bain, who was the teacher at the school, um, who was actually my next door neighbour when I was a wee boy, and he um, asked, could we have um, an artefact from the boat as a souvenir? And so they gave him the engine room bell to yeah. the school. Along with the bell, the model of the container ship helps provide valuable links to Port Chalmers' maritime history. In Dunedin, for the South Today. A helicopter searching for a missing Australian climber on Mount Aspiring had to turn back again this morning due to the weather. But rescuers say he could still be alive. The man set off his beacon around lunchtime on Tuesday. 
There are grave concerns over his condition, but rescuers are encouraged by the movement of the emergency beacon a short distance to the northeast yesterday afternoon. Rescue Coordination Centre New Zealand says they understand the man has experience of building snow caves, so it's possible he's done that. Professional guide and former owner of Aspiring Guides, Whitney Thurlow, also believes the climber could be alive if he was in a snow cave. The country's first driving simulator to give foreign visitors a chance to safely prepare for some of New Zealand's challenging roads has been launched in Queenstown. Go Rentals has unveiled the driving simulator, which was developed by Dunedin-based business CoDriver. The man behind the invention, Otago Rally driver Reese Gardner, showcasing the simulator his company spent more than three years developing. We started with teenagers, which we're still working with now, um, but we quickly got pulled into helping our visitors to adjust to on roads, which is, uh, which is cool. The simulator's been designed to give rental car drivers a realistic on-road experience and allow them to improve their skills in a bid to reduce the number of crashes nationwide. It's a, it's a great piece of... Kiwi ingenuity and there's a, there's a quite a long uh, story behind where we've got to and, and Reese has certainly been uh, working on this over a number of years uh, and yeah we're just we're really really proud to bring it to market, it's fantastic. It's not compulsory for overseas drivers to use the simulator when renting a vehicle but now they'll at least have the chance and although the project is aimed at rental car users, Gardner says learner drivers could also benefit from the simulator. Yeah, we think we're, we're building a great platform for driver training across the board. So um, obviously we need to support our teenagers who uh, probably don't get the, the level of training and car control uh, that we really should have in New Zealand. The simulators are set to be installed at other Go Rentals branches across the country over the next year. And while the project has been independently funded from the start, Gardner says they're on the lookout for other funding options. In Dunedin, the South today. Still to come on the South Today, an elderly Port Chalmers woman has a lucky escape. And Dunedin joins the international celebration of World Breastfeeding Week. Oakley's Bathroom Solutions is locally owned and operated and is a name that has become synonymous with bathroom excellence. Exclusive to Oakley South Island, Danish design Vola, the modern day tap, remains a desirable choice. For over 140 years, the team at Oakley's has provided the highest quality bathroom products and plumbing supplies. For intelligent advice and smart service, come talk to the team or visit oakleysplumbing.co.nz. They've been moving earth for nearly 30 years. Locally owned and operated, Paul Brothers Transport is your one-stop shop when it comes to demolition, site clearance, recycling buildings, chipping trees, earthworks, drainage and roading, nothing goes to waste. Paul Brothers Transport can get the whole job done from start to finish, no matter how big or small. Give them a call on 4771 141 or drop into 26 Creswell Street behind the railway station. That's Hall Brothers Transport Limited. Roslyn Mowers and Heating are your local Massport heating agents and offer you a competitive quote on complete Massport fire installation. Come and see the Massport Cromwell Ultra Low Emission Burner in action. See you in store soon. If you're at risk of developing melanoma skin cancer, you owe it to yourself to have a mole map. Mole map is coming to your area. Phone today to make an appointment. It could save your life. Too late to sow seeds? Don't despair, the solution is at hand. Call Ready Lawn today for your year-round lawn needs. Call now on 03 486 1819. Helping New Zealanders to do more. Talk to MTF today. Hi, it's me again. It's that time of year. It's our season, winter clearance. It's our greatest ever. 
50% off all these jackets and vests, knitwear, dress and casual trousers, warm shirts and business shirts, suits and sports jackets, 50% off. Three stores, greatest ever winter season clearance, Alex Campbell menswear. Every reason, every season, we're proud to dress the region. Alex Campbell menswear, it fits. So, all three stores, 50% off, it's our greatest ever winter clearance. Being a big softy takes training. Oh, I've gone to great lengths to become even softer while still being strong and reliable. The new me is bigger and softer than ever. Cotton Softs. Softness and strength you can trust. Stay warm this winter with Alistair McCann's Wooden Coal Door-to-Door -door Delivery. You don't have to lift a finger. Call Alistair to order today on 454 3592. At the Hard to Find Bookshop, we sell quality books on all subjects from the rare to the recent. And where viable, we will come to you. We have a great reputation for integrity and honesty. So if you're downsizing or sorting an estate and have books to sell, contact us. If you're at risk of developing melanoma skin cancer, you owe it to yourself to have a mole map. Mole map is coming to your area. Phone today to make an appointment. It could save your life. Garador Dunedin, delivering quality stylish garage doors in Dunedin for over 15 years. New doors, replacement doors, repairs and maintenance are all part of Garador's quality service. Garador Dunedin offers a full range of modern quality doors to suit any home. Come visit the team at 553 Kaikoua Valley Road. Visit www.garador.co.nz or call us on 488-5676. Join us as we reveal what people keep behind garage doors. Sponsored by Garador Dunedin and Hall Brothers Transport Limited. Motor Trade Finance proudly brings you Rural Delivery. A look at the places and faces behind New Zealand agriculture. Tuesday evenings 8.30, repeating Saturday morning at 8 and Sunday afternoons 4.30. Welcome back. An elderly woman crashed her car down a bank in Port Chalmers today and had to be freed from the vehicle by firefighters. The crash happened in Benicia Street near Wycliffe Terrace. Okay. A crowd of St Joseph's school pupils looked on as fire crews from Willowbank and Port Chalmers assisted the shaken woman from her vehicle. Port Chalmers Volunteer Fire Brigade Chief Stephen Hill says crews managed to free the woman without extrication equipment from the car which was wedged between a bank and a fence on the footpath. St John spokesman Jared Campbell says the 77-year-old woman was treated by ambulance officers for minor injuries but wasn't taken to hospital. Meanwhile, emergency services attended a crash in Kaikaro Valley Road this afternoon after a motorist crashed their car into a lamppost. A police spokesman says the crash happened just before 3pm near Ash Air between Kemya Road and Burnside. He says the car collided with a lamppost which tipped over into an electricity distribution box creating a domino effect. A woman wo uh, working in a nearby shop says the driver was shaken but uninjured. And breastfeeding is being celebrated around the world as part of World Breastfeeding Week. Dunedin's Plaza Cafe has joined in, offering feeding mums a free muffin or scone this morning with the purchase of a drink. Breastfeeding in a supportive environment. These mums are taking part in a morning tea at Dunedin's Plaza Cafe to mark World Breastfeeding Week. Loz Barwick says there's a real need for more designated baby feeding areas. 
I think there needs to be more spaces in public um, centres that we can feed our bugs. Um, I know there's maybe a section near the library, but um, I'm, I struggled to find um, easy places to relax and, and feed in. She says while it's a challenge to master breastfeeding, the results are worth it. Really hard times. It probably took me about six weeks, um, even two months, to really get the handle of breastfeeding, and I'm really glad I persisted. Um, so, yeah, there's a lot of techniques and support I needed. Yeah, it's, it's amazing. <laughs> the Dunedin Breastfeeding Network are also planning other events to mark the week. In Dunedin for the South Today. And after the break on the South Today, we find out which All Black Rugby star has enrolled at Otago Polytechnic and work is in progress to revamp the Ashburton CBD. New Zealanders to do more. Talk to MTF today. If you're at risk of developing melanoma skin cancer, you owe it to yourself to have a MOLMAP. MOLMAP is coming to your area. Phone today to make an appointment. It could save your life. Oakley's Bathroom Solutions is locally owned and operated and is a name that has become synonymous with bathroom excellence. Exclusive to Oakley South Island, Danish design Vola, the modern day tap, remains a desirable choice. For over 140 years, the team at Oakley's has provided the highest quality bathroom products and plumbing supplies. For intelligent advice and smart service, come talk to the team or visit oakleysplumbing.co.nz. Hi, it's me again. It's that time of year. It's our season, winter clearance. It's our greatest ever. 50% off all these, jackets and vests, knitwear, dress and casual trousers, warm shirts and business shirts, suits and sports jackets, 50% off. Three stores, greatest ever winter season clearance, Alex Campbell menswear. Every reason, every season, we're proud to dress the region, Alex Campbell menswear, it fits. So, all three stores, 50% off, it's our greatest ever winter clearance. Stay warm this winter with Alistair McCann's wooden cold door-to-door -door delivery. You don't have to lift a finger. Call Alistair to order today on 454-3592. Roslyn Mowers and Heating are your local Massport heating agents and offer you a competitive quote on complete Massport fire installation. Come and see the Massport Cromwell Ultra Low Emission Burner in action. See you in store soon. New Zealanders to do more. Talk to MTF today. They've been moving earth for nearly 30 years. Locally owned and operated, Hall Brothers Transport is your one-stop shop when it comes to demolition, site clearance, recycling buildings, chipping trees, earthworks, drainage and roading, nothing goes to waste. Hall Brothers Transport can get the whole job done from start to finish, no matter how big or small. Give them a call on 4771 141 or drop into 26 Creswell Street behind the railway station. That's Hall Brothers Transport Limited. If you're at risk of developing melanoma skin cancer, you owe it to yourself to have a MOLMAP. MOLMAP is coming to your area. Phone today to make an appointment. It could save your life. At the Hard to Find Bookshop, we sell quality books on all subjects from the rare to the recent. And where viable, we will come to you. We have a great reputation for integrity and honesty, so if you're downsizing or sorting an estate and have books to sell, contact us.
Too late to sow seeds? Don't despair, the solution is at hand. Call Ready Lawn today for your year-round lawn needs. Call now on 03 486 1819. Motor Trade Finance proudly brings you Rural Delivery. A look at the places and faces behind New Zealand agriculture. Tuesday evenings 8.30, repeating Saturday morning at 8 and Sunday afternoons 4.30. Join us as we reveal what people keep behind garage doors. Sponsored by Garador Dunedin and Hall Brothers Transport Limited. Welcome back. The results of an independent survey shows New Zealand's game development industry earned a record $143 million in the last financial year. Broadcasting and Digital Media Minister Claire Curran says the annual reserve represents a 43% rise on the previous year. The survey of gaming studios found more than 90% of revenue comes from exports of digital creative software and the number of developers employed in the industry rose 10%. Claire Curran says the results reflect the wealth of talent in New Zealand's game development industry. And All Black rugby star Sonny Bill Williams has enrolled at Otago Polytechnic. But don't expect to see the multi-talented sports sensation in Dunedin any time soon. Williams, seen training here in Dunedin with the All Blacks earlier this year, will attend classes at the Otago Polytechnic's Queen Street campus in Auckland. Sonny Bill is one of 10 Blues players who've enrolled in the Bachelor of Applied Management program through Capable New Zealand. This specialist school within the Otago Polytechnic has guided a number of New Zealand elite sports people to academic success, including DJ Forbes, Grant Elliott and Barbara Kendall. And work is underway on the long-planned revitalisation of the Central Business District in Ashburton with the demolition of two buildings on Burnett Street. One of the shops recently housed a discount store while the other was the once popular Chiron Cake Kitchen. Contractors were still working on the earthquake damaged buildings which have been scheduled for removal as part of the three block Eastfield retail and office development. The Ashburton District Council has recently signed off on a major plan to revitalise the Central Business District, but that work can't start until some of the buildings scheduled for demolition are removed. And now recapping tonight's top stories on the South Today. A dedicated follower of the world's best map makers has designed his own guide to Dunedin's bus routes and claims his are better than the Otago Regional Council's. Two new acquisitions are taking pride of place at the Port Chalmers Maritime Museum, including a replica of the first container ship to visit the port. And the country's first driving simulator to give foreign visitors a chance to safely prepare for some of New Zealand's challenging roads has been launched in Queenstown. And now a look at what's happening in tomorrow's ODT. Welcome, Phil. Yes, hi, Holly. Uh, like most of the media, we'll feature Jacinda Ardern returning to work. Uh, she invited the media into her house and with Clark Gayford and with Baby Neve. Oh, fantastic. Uh, it's interesting that they, they're, they're very precious with their uh, privacy and the photos were uh, supplied photos and the, the face of Neve is obscured. Ah. But you can still see the baby there. Great. Uh, another story for the South, uh, a report from an uh, inquiry, uh, increasing gang numbers. Uh, still relatively low, but throughout Otago and Southland, that's uh, mm. uh, some concern. Yes. And in Invercargill, today was the first day of a big murder trial. Uh, five people are charged with the murder of a 19-year-old last June, just near the Southland Stadium. Mm, it's pretty awful. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Isn't it? Um, on the opinion page, Chris Trotter, who's always very interesting, uh, you don't always agree with him, but he's always <laughs> interesting, he's written a piece about National Party looking towards the next election, oh. looking towards baby boomer votes and suggesting that perhaps National should go out and really be in favour of legalising cannabis. So ah, there we go. <laughs> yeah. Well then, tomorrow's ODT. Thanks very much. And time now for a look at tomorrow's weather. 
Tonight's weather proudly brought to you by Molmap. Starting with today's southern view, taken of workmen dismantling the scaffolding at the first church in Dunedin. Looking at the situation, an easterly airflow over the Southland and Otago area tomorrow will bring some rain to the coast, but clearing weather inland. Over the weekend, easterlies will subside to bring increasing fine spells. Beginning on the northwest of the island, Greymouth and Westport will have a few showers, some heavy, with nor'easters clearing later and highs of 13 degrees. Across to the northeast, Nelson and Blenheim will be cloudy in the morning with a chance of showers, then fine spells increasing and nor'easters bringing highs from 12 to 13. Moving downwards now towards Canterbury, Kaikoura can expect a few showers before dawn while Christchurch and Ashburton can expect morning and evening cloud and fine spells with light winds, highs from 12 to 13 degrees there. Heading to the south now, Balclutha, Catlins, Gore and Lumsden can expect moderate sou'easters bringing some rain and highs of 9. Across to central Otago, Alexandra, Queenstown and Wanaka can expect light clouds with some, cl with some cloud and highs of 11 degrees, while in Tiano, moderate sou'easters will help to clear away the showers and a high of 10 there. And up to northern Otago on the coast, Omaru and Timaru can expect moderate light easterlies with some rain and highs of 10, while up the Waitaki Valley, Omarama and Twizel may also see light winds with some cloud and a high of 11 degrees. Here in Dunedin tonight, it'll be cloudy with some rain and easterly winds bringing a low of 7. Tomorrow will continue to be overcast with rain, but dry periods should arrive by late morning on the back of moderate sou'easters, bringing a high of 10 and a low of 7 overnight. Not too bad. Expect more cloud on Saturday, but it will be dry with light northerlies, but a high of 11 and a low of 7 overnight again. And in Invercargill tonight, it will continue to be cloudy with showers, bringing an overnight low of 7. Friday will be cloudy with some rain during the morning, but clearing by the afternoon. Moderate easterlies will bring a high of 10 and a low down to 7. On Saturday, fine sunny periods and high cloud, moderate nor'easters with a high of 13 and a low of 5. And that's our news for this Thursday. For the latest news from the southern region, you can follow us on Facebook, YouTube and at channel39.co.nz. For full stories, see odtu.co.nz. Enjoy your evening and do join us again tomorrow. Good night. This bulletin proudly brought to you in association with Alex Campbell's menswear. Supporting local content so you can see more of New Zealand on air.